What's orange and bouncy and coming your way? Find out next. Hello once again, model kit builders and Warhammer miniatures collectors and gamers and everybody else out there. My name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today we're going to be taking a look at some orange little bouncy fellas. We're going to look at the original Squig Hoppers from Games Workshop. So before we do that, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time this guy makes a new video, you guys are the first ones to see it. And check out our website at www.monster-hobbies.ca And don't forget to join us on Wargaming Nights every Thursday at Monster Hobbies at 7 o'clock p.m. So now without further ado, let's hop right to it and check out the original Squig Hoppers from Games Workshop. A very long time ago, at least before 2008, there was these great sets of Night Goblin Squig Hoppers that came out from Games Workshop. Now these of course were white metal models which were later brought out as Citadel Finecast using that resin that they had. But it says here there are two sets of Night Goblin Squig Hoppers available. The first contains five of these fantastic models while the second contains two Night Goblin Squig Hoppers. So it's kind of interesting here. So there was one set with all five of these and then another I guess it had random uh, Night Goblin Squig Hoppers. These, of course, would have been just blister packs, so quite interesting. Now, these Night Goblin Squig Hoppers made many appearances in different versions of Warhammer Fantasy, and here we can see their final use in Warhammer Fantasy 8th Edition, where they are still mounted on the square bases. The Night Goblin Squig Hoppers made their final appearance as that model kit in the Age of Sigmar Grand Alliance Destruction book, which came out just in 2015 right after the game had started and if we just zoom in here we can see them all mounted on round bases with a nice repaint and they do look pretty terrific on here uh, however this is the last time we're going to see them in this form the squig hoppers lasted a long time until they were finally replaced in 2019 with the brand new warhammer age of sigmar destruction battle tome for the gloom spite gets the original Night Goblin Squig Hoppers were replaced in 2019 with the new Gloom Spite Get Squid Hoppers, which this time around they give you 10 miniatures instead of 5, and we will take a look at these next time. But for today, we can wind the clock back and take a look at the last version of these Squig Hoppers. This course was the Citadel Funcast, which are all resin. Now I wanted to make these for Warhammer Age of Sigmar, so I did find some round bases. These ones, of course, have slots in the bottom because that's how the original white metal models were. And for these ones that are down below here, I mounted them on sticks, or actually metal rod, so they would look like they're bouncing in midair like they're supposed to do. And the reason for that is because those little sticks, or sorry, the little uh, slots here that were underneath, they actually broke off. And so I cleaned them up. And then I put the rod up in here, which I do believe is a uh, clothes peg. And then made them look like they're bouncing through the air. So we'll take a look at these in a little more detail coming up next. So I'd start off with the guys that are, of course, highest in position. Or at least the ones that bounce the highest. So here we have our first little Night Goblin Squig Hopper guy. And you can see he's quite up in the air on this one. Now he is mounted on a square base, which is then put on a round adapter, a 3D printed one, because the way I have this in the base, you can see I've bent the wire around. That's just to give him a little more stability. So I'll just click him back in. And now he won't fall out through the bottom. But there you can see quite a lot of detail on the squig itself. Little nasty little guy, and the goblin up top has a nice little dagger he's going to stick into you. Almost looks like a wooden dagger. And then out the back you can see a bit of the cape flinging away and his legs sitting off the sides of the squig. Which again, nice little pose, but uh, for more modern Warhammer Age of Sigmar you do need ten of these guys to form up a unit. Now here's our next little goblin bouncing away, and you can see a bit of desperation in him. He's got his tongue sticking out and a face of madness as this uh, little squig goes bouncing around through the air. You can see again the little cape flying up 
These will look really good once I get them all painted. However, this little guy's not holding a weapon. He's just trying to hold on for dear life. And here's another little guy holding on to nothing but dear life. However, he is a little more brave, just holding on with one hand there. And again, as you can see, the, the squig is kind of landing as a touchdown. Again, very nicely done. But you can see why these guys broke off their sticks. Because this is only held on just by that one toenail right there. Which is not very, you know, stable in order to hold this squig hopper in place. Now this little guy I like to think of as being the champion of the group. Because he's holding this nice sword in his hand. And you can see the expression on his face as well as on the squig face. Again, these guys look like they should be taking the lead. Very nicely done. Squig's got a little tiny uh, tail on the back there, as you can see. And again, just excellent work on these original old school sculpts. Very comical and very fun. And last but not least, we have this little guy who, of course, is riding the squig backwards. Somehow he got turned around and he is terrified. His little hat is flowing backward in the breeze. And here, of course, you can see it gets a little bit cheeky. There's his bum. <laughs> and, of course, look at the squig there, all ready to go and all crazy looking. These model kits, again, are quite excellent, and the humor is definitely right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great video and that you stay tuned next week when we're going to be looking at the more recent edition of the Squig Hoppers coming up next week. Anyway, my name is Trevor Selesky once again, and if you love Warhammer unboxing videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. And until next time, everybody, happy bouncing.